have loved building these custom playhouses and it's been such a great exercise in creativity and pushing the boundaries of what we're able to do. But it always uh, really bothered us that our brand wasn't accessible to just more people. And so the resort to us is our way of bringing in families that are more like our own that can afford to go stay at a resort but can't necessarily put a whole playhouse in their backyard. We're going to have all different types of cottages at the resorts. Whether it's a tree house or a storybook home or Rapunzel's tower or a halfling house or castles, right? We're going to have a real nice mix in the resort so that when families come they can find the one that's perfect for them. A lot of people get into glamping. Let's create a resort where we could create these storylines and our cottages based on these storylines where people can bring their families, come experience it, have a vacation close to home. Charmed was an accidental success story for us. We had a landscape company for years that we were building really cool backyards for parents. And eventually I kind of got bored of doing that, so I came up with an idea to build a really cool space for, for kids. Before we knew it, it was just like blowing up where people were amazed at the things we were building. And we got international attention, and it just kind of spread throughout North America. And we decided, you know what, let's sell our landscape company and jump in full time and, and start building playhouses. So we started Charm Playhouses about five years ago and we thought we were going to be building smaller playhouses for people and it kind of blew up into a much bigger situation that we have now and so we're building some pretty luxury and intricate playhouses now for people. When I started the company, I had people tell me I should maybe just go back to school or go do something else. Rightfully so, because it was a crazy idea. Neither of us had any clue what our business was going to become. And I thought, you know what, people spend ten, fifteen thousand dollars on hot tubs. Surely they'll go buy a playhouse for their backyard. And it's turned into um, people are willing to spend a few hundred thousand dollars on a playhouse. So it was just as shocking to us as it's been to anyone else. Our company took off because it was really nostalgic for a lot of people. We all grew up making cardboard houses or playhouses out in the trees or tree houses, right? And so it was like this place that we went and we explored and we had fun with our family and friends. And so as we've grown older, all of us want that experience back, this nostalgia of it for our own children. People kept on asking us, how can we experience this? You know, like a lot of blue collar families out there who obviously can't afford something like we're building. I mean, we, we grew up in a blue collar family, so we understand that. And we wanted to be able to do something that we could allow all families to be able to experience the magic of what we built. We're going to keep the first one in Southern Alberta so that it's right underneath us so we can manage it and, and make sure that we perfect it and then we want to roll it all throughout North America. We see these, these playhouses being all over the place and we see uh, lots of families being able to come and stay in this little magical kingdom that we are so excited to create.